welcome back uh, in this uh, video we are going to see an example for uh, queues the previous video we have seen what is queue how insertion and deletion takes place so this is uh, we call it as a job queue to take uh, our uh, system computer system there will be n number of jobs and all these jobs will be taken care by your operating system everyone knows what is an operating system which is going to be an interface between the user and the computer right so if uh, the jobs are not prioritized what happened so this will be stored uh, something like this so you can see here uh, there are two variables one is uh, front and the other one is rear and if q is empty friend and rear is going to point it towards the or which is having the same value which is going to be minus one think that uh, job one is added if job one is added rear end is going to change its position from minus one to zero there is another job arrived so if it is not prioritized which is going to be the second job in the queue and rear is going to change its value from 0 to 1 think that there is another job arrived or added to this queue so which is going to be the third one and the rear is going to change its position from 1 to 2 right now we can visualize we have a queue everything is job queue and which is having three jobs now think that we have deleted or the system has completed one job job one has completed so that has to be deleted from the front end when we delete it from the front end what happened front has to change its value which was minus one minus one is going to be zero now when the second job has completed or which is deleted from the queue what happened again the front end has to change its value from one to two now look at uh, sorry from zero to one before it was minus one minus 1 to 0 from 0 to 1 that means we have inserted three jobs in the queue out of three jobs we have deleted two jobs so now the front is going to be 1 and rear is going to be 2 right yeah so now let us see what is the drawback in this case we have seen that queue is going to be full when the rear is equal to max q size minus 1 look at the diagram on the screen where we represent the q using an array and if you take look at this array we have a size of 5 5 elements can be inserted out of 5 elements what happened is we have inserted 5 elements and we have deleted the starting two elements so when we delete the starting two elements what happens look at f f is appointed to the empty space which is having index value one but look at r r is having the value which is going to be max q size minus one max q size is five five minus one is going to be four so when you look at this diagram anybody can say that the queue is full sorry the queue is not full it is not full queue is not full but according to our uh, logic what we studied the queue is going to be full because our r is equals to max q size minus one. but is the queue really full no there are two vacant spaces in the beginning but what logic we use according to that the queue is full now even though there are vacancies, even though there are two vacant sheets, we are going to say according to our syntax, according to the logic we learned, we say that the queue is full. So, so how to overcome this drawback? To overcome this drawback, we use uh, a different terminology, a different technique or different method. So what we do is, once an element is deleted, what we do is 
we are going to shift all the elements towards left. So what happens? Again, the first element is going to be at Q of 0. So if you have doubt, look at the diagram where we have a, a Q with index value or the size phi, all the phi spaces we have inserted the elements. Now, think that you have deleted the first element which is A. So when I delete the first element, normally the index value 0 has to be remained vacant. But what we do is we are going to shift all the elements towards left. So B's index value was 1 before. Now B gets an index value 0. So not only B, even C, D and E will be shifted towards left on time. So we are going to make it sure that the first element in the Q is having an index value Q of 0 and friend is at minus 1 every time. But how can we do this every time? Because shifting an array is very time consuming. We cannot do it just by deleting a single element. Think that you have got an array with uh, hundreds of elements. You have just deleted the first element. To overcome this, we have to shift the remaining n minus 1 elements towards left. This is obviously a time consuming approach. Right. So let us see what is the second thing. The second thing is uh, again quite interesting. What we do is we are going to wrap around the end of the array. So this is going to make a something like a circle. So what happens? So again we have two conventional variables. One is friend. Another one is uh, you no know, rear. So friend is, uh, if you look at this, uh, friend has changed and no changes with the rear. So look at this, uh, the initial stage. Initially where is friend and where is rear. And uh, look now, we have inserted another element called D. So after, after uh, addition to an element in the queue, what happened? Friend remained as it is, rear has changed its place. Now what happened? We have deleted one element. When we deleted one element, what happened? Friend has changed its place. Look at that. Friend has changed its place. Now friend is always appointed to the empty space or the starting space. Let us see more about this. So let us see how we can implement this circular queue. So circular queue is as I told uh, that is you know wrap around. But uh, I think that uh, uh, when we uh, visualize this as you know like uh, array like a uh, circle, what happened? Please remember what will be the location after max q size minus 1. Max q size minus 1 is going to give you the last location. After this, the next location is going to be 0. So the position that precedes 0 is max q size minus 1. So the when the q rear is at max minus q size minus 1, the next element to be inserted should be at position 0. So how we can do this? We have think that you have a q with uh, size as 8. So its index value start from 0 to 7. To insert the next element, 7 plus 1 is going to be 8. But there is no location called 8. What you have to do when I increment 7 plus 1, you should go to 0. So, how we can do it? How could I do this? So, normally we do this if rear is equal to q size minus 1. What we are going to do? We are going to make it as rear is equal to 0 or else rear plus plus. So, the moment you find that rear is equal to q size minus 1, you are going to re.